Thank you to Cricut for teaming up with me on today's video to share how to make money with your Cricut. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode number two in my rustic makeover series. Today we are down in my friend's home office. So currently she has a desk. We've actually modified this already a little bit. So I will put in like a preview of what it looked like before they adjusted it. But she also does have an Etsy business that she works at from home using her Cricut machine. And so we are going to be making her like a whole craft table area over here so that she can not only work from home with her one job, but also work on her business as well. So. We have a lot to get done. We have a few furniture pieces to put together and build. We are also going to be taking a lot of things out of here. They actually have a lot of like hunting gear in here. This used to be kind of like a shared space, but now she is just kind of taking over this room and it's going to be just kind of all of her work stuff. So we have a lot to get done ahead of us. I'm gonna turn you around and show you what we are starting out with and then we'll jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. change of plans honestly you can't really tell the color behind me is much darker than it appears right now just because the lighting on my camera is really good but it is like pretty a pretty dark color and especially with only having the one basement window and then the one light in here it just my friend said it ends up feeling really dingy down here just because the color is like pretty dark for a basement and we do have extra paint that we use in the kids bedroom and so I think we're going to put all hands on deck. We don't have a lot of time, so we are going to have all four of us pulling everything off the walls, putting up the holes, just patching those, taping, and then we are all just gonna paint this really quick and get it done as quick as we can. I think it is going to make a big difference. I think it's gonna be worth the extra time it'll take, but we're definitely gonna have to get going with this and just kind of move at a pretty good pace. Hey, just chill. I got all the time to kill ya. I got good vibes, good vibes. I'm too blessed to give in to So the first thing that I wanted to do, of course, is take every single thing out of the room minus the big desk because that's one of the things that we would have to, again, like take apart completely to get it out of the door. So we are just going to put the desk in the middle of the room, but every other single thing is going to be taken out of the room. All of the holes are going to be patched on the wall and we are just going to start taping everything off, putting a liner on the floor and just make sure that we are protecting everything so that we can go ahead and paint. And I do get this question all the time, so I did just want to share once again that the color that we are using Using is the Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter. It is the same color that we have throughout our entire Utah home and we just love it. It is like the perfect gray slash beige color and I really just cannot recommend that one enough. So if you guys are in the market for a new really nice neutral bright paint color, I would definitely suggest checking out that one. Life is way too short to get caught up in that mess All I wanna do is get drunk on happiness Your girl loves us to align in No, not because I'm smiling I don't need your doubt, nope, I don't need your doubt Hey, just chill, I got all the time to kill ya I got good vibes, good vibes I'm too blessed to give in to any stress It's only good vibes
permission to listen to the brain you've been giving now you got a future to take yep Ooh, you ain't feeling if you're trying and Ooh, gotta believe the future's brighter you owe it to yourself to do what only brings you joy so shut up all that noise yep shut up all that noise hey just chill i got all the time to kill yeah i got good vibes good vibes i'm too blessed to give in to any stress it's only good vibes good vibes So here you can kind of see the difference in the colors. Now, honestly, they really don't look like this, I would say. The color that we are putting on the wall is definitely a lot warmer than it looks. It looks very cold in this picture. And then also the original color of the wall that we are painting over is not this neutral. It has much more of like an orangey tint. It's just a lot more tan and a lot darker than it appears here. So just kind of keep that in mind because honestly, if I was judging these colors, how they look on camera right here i would probably say to stick with the original one but it's just not that way just sometimes the camera kind of distorts the coloring so just kind of keep that in mind but it really did end up making such a big difference in the space you know i've been thinking about this all day got that tape up for two saved in our names Troll 15 on fur to get to your place You know I've been thinking about this all day Open up, open up, open the door What do we, what do we leave in there for? All right, so we let the paint dry. It is looking so nice in here, super, super bright. It's way brighter, especially in person. But now, because we have to move the desk back, we're actually just gonna go ahead and add in the curtains because this area is already clear. And then once we have those in, then we'll go ahead and just move the desk back. I was getting everything ready to work on the, the leather for like the way that we do the curtain rods. All right, next up was to go ahead and tackle the curtains. This is the same style that I did in our farmhouse makeover series, but all you're going to do is start with a pipe that we had painted earlier and just cut that down to the width that you want your curtain rod to be. We just did about 10 inches longer than the windows. And then you're going to take pieces of two inch wide leather. I just ordered this off of Amazon and I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And you're going to cut that, but these will end up going right up to the ceiling. So all you're going to do is loop them and then measure how far down you want your curtain rod to hang. And then the next thing that you're going to do is drill a screw right into the top section of the looped leather. And then once you have that done on both pieces, you're going to drill that right into the wall and then just slide your pipe into the loop that you've created. Next, it was time to move the craft table down into the room down here. Now, this was something that my friend's husband actually built himself, and I will reinsert a clip right here of the desk that they had in here before. So originally, this desk was actually on the other side of the wall as 
their computer desk and the work desk. And then she did not have a place in this room to work on her business. Instead, she was just working in their dining room, which worked out okay in the beginning. But as her business has grown, she's really started to need a bigger space and just more room to kind of keep all of her supplies and everything and just have a good workspace. So we came up with a plan and they ended up changing up some of the furniture pieces. So now their old work desk is actually going to be her new craft table. And then her husband just built her a new L-shaped desk to have her work computer on. So it all just worked out super, super well. And the plan was to have a few pieces in the room be white and that way it would really lighten up the space. And then the other items are stained a light brown and that way it just brings some more warmth into the space. So you're still getting that bright element, but you're also having it be really warm and welcoming. So that's kind of why we did the two different tones in the space. So once we got the craft table all set up, my friend Stephanie wanted to do a special project to add to the craft table for her Etsy business. Now we are going to be using the Cricut Explore Air 2, which is the machine that both of us have. And I am so excited to be teaming up once again with Cricut for today's video. And while we are making a few of the projects for today's makeover, I'm going to share a few things about making money with your Cricut that I've learned from my friend. So I got my Cricut machine a few months ago and I have been absolutely loving it. And the main reason that I was so excited to get one was because my friend has had hers for years and I have been able to see all of the amazing things that she has been able to make with it over the years. So she actually had gotten her machine a few years ago to start a new hobby and it was so cool because within about a month of having it, she started making different items and selling them online. And over time, her business has grown and now she even has her own Etsy shop. And that was so neat to see how fast it happened just because it shows that you really don't need to be a professional to start making money with Cricut. You can totally learn as you go and get started right away. I think it's really amazing that you can use your Cricut machine for not just creating projects for yourself and for your friends, but you actually are able to use it to create an income for your family. And there's so many ways that you can do that too. You can make so many different styles of products depending on your interest and creativity. Like you can make custom tumblers, cups, t-shirts, signs, labels, cards, even earrings, and the list just goes on and on. And you have the flexibility to sell your Cricut made items however you like to. I know some people sell their items on local Facebook pages or even local markets. And of course you can also sell your products online whether you have your own website or you use a platform like Etsy. There are just tons of possibilities there. You can also make your Cricut business as big or small as you want. I know several people who do this part-time just to bring in a little extra spending money. And I also know tons of people who have scaled their business from something really small to something that now brings in a substantial income for their family. And the best part is that you can do it all from home. My friend is a stay-at-home mom, so her two little kids are right beside her while she works her business in the comfort of her own home. And you guys know I love small businesses and I really just think it's such a cool opportunity to be able to make money this way and it's also been really incredible for me personally just to be a small part of this journey for my friend and just watch her business grow and just see that need to expand her workspace like this and actually be a part of helping her create this new workspace for her business. And if you have been thinking about getting a Cricut machine to start making money with, after seeing my friend over the past years do this, I would definitely say go for it. I will of course have the link down below if you want to check out my Cricut machine for yourself. And again, I do have the Cricut Explore Air 2 and I absolutely love it, it is incredible. But they do also have several other machines depending on your needs as well. So no matter what you're interested in and what you're wanting to start creating, they have definitely got you covered. Here 
here we are just starting to build a cube organizer and I know some of you guys are totally expecting a cube organizer and then some of you guys are like whoa seriously another one like can we just do a makeover without a cube organizer and while I don't use them in every single makeover you guys do see them getting utilized a lot and that is for a few reasons one because they are very budget friendly for what you're getting and they also offer a ton of storage and a lot of like customized storage space where you're not just going to be getting one large storage area but you're going to be getting individual cubes for different things and you can really kind of customize that storage to what you need So these are the legs that I got to add to the cube organizer and I just picked these up off of Amazon but I will have them linked down below for you guys. Now one thing that I did want to make sure to point out is that the cube organizer does have hollow outside wood pieces so these legs are really not going to be super functional. They are going to be mostly for look. However we do always anchor the cube organizers into the wall and so really the legs are just going to be there for look and they are not going to be like needing to be super sturdy. So what we are doing is just drilling a little hole into the bottom and then we are screwing the legs right into the cube organizer, but we are also adding a little bit of wood glue to that and that way it's just going to make it a little bit sturdier and a little bit more stable. But even with doing that, since the inside of the cube organizer is hollow, you do just wanna be really careful and not just like drag this along the floor with the legs. You will want to just kind of lift it up and pick it up and put it where you want. And then also of course, either way, whether you do legs or not, make sure that you are attaching it to the wall so that it's not top heavy and it doesn't fall down if kids decide to climb on it. All right, so we got the cube organizer built and fastened to the wall. So I am gonna be doing like a quick little DIY. This isn't gonna take a long time. We actually already cut everything. I will try to overlay like the exact hardware supplies or exact like wood pieces we got, but we basically just got like these little square dowels. And we're gonna put one on each side and then we're going to take this. I'm not entirely sure what this call is called either, but we just found it at our local hardware store. And then we're going to set that on top. And basically these are going to be areas that my friend can store her flat vinyl for her Cricut machine. Right, so, so I think you can do this a few different ways. You could definitely like shoot these and attach them to the side like with a brad nailer. But I am actually just going to try to use my hot glue gun. Look at this. I have the perfect little nails for this. Go probably that deep. Alright, we can try your way. I'm not I'm not saying we have to, I don't have to say whatever. I'm just saying. It's just your gun is so big and it's like so like jetty like Yeah it is. Do you want me to shoot it into a test piece? Yeah you can shoot it into the board. Would you feel better? Yeah. Hey little guy. You get the real guy. I'm not gonna hurt anything. I'll get the real guy. Yay, gonna go for a fun ride. That could have hit me in the face. Could have. Also I'm just putting two of these in the back as my guide just to make sure that everything is going to be in the right position. Fill the space whenever you're around We're illuminated in my room right now Then you might deep in your eyes I know we see it too The more we break the bed away The light comes through You and me We can really mess it up sometimes We're bittersweet But I think about you all the time It's a day 
So this DIY shelf turned out so incredible. I actually found this idea online because when I looked up something to just buy and put in here, it was like $80 to get one and I was not gonna spend $80 to organize flat vinyl in one little cube. So we decided to go ahead and do this ourselves and it was so much more budget friendly and it also was more custom, which I thought was really cool too. And now that we've made one of these, she can totally make more of these little cubes if she finds that she needs to store more flat vinyl. So here I am just sliding in the flat wood pieces and these I'm actually not going to fasten. That way if she needs to adjust anything, she can pull them out and kind of add more space and then once we got that DIY done we just moved over to the next cube and this is where we are going to store most of her rolled vinyl. Now this is something that we just found at the store so I will link it down below for you guys but this way no matter whether she has flat vinyl or rolled vinyl she is totally covered. So this chair was something that I looked high and low for. I could not find a chair that I liked. I could not find a chair that was budget friendly at all. And I was about to actually give her my office chair and just find a new office chair for myself because I really just could not find anything that I loved that was still in the budget. But late one night I was online browsing and I ended up finding this chair and I loved it. And it was so perfect because it has like a really upscale look, but it's also really comfortable and it's also not a roller chair, which I think would be great when she's doing her crafting. I know she kind of had requested a chair that was like a little bit more firm and not super saggy that you're just going to like kind of see into and so this chair ended up being absolutely perfect for the space and I feel like it kind of created like a little mood over on the craft station it just made everything look a little bit more high-end So finally, once we had the furniture all built and everything kind of put together, we just needed to start putting all of the little pieces in place and start decorating and everything and just making sure that everything had a lot of function in this space. So when organizing and decorating her craft table, I really wanted to make sure that above all else, it was very functional. So I didn't want to overcrowd everything. I didn't want to put a whole lot of decor on the table, but instead I just kind of utilized the things that she actually needed, like her Cricut machine and a few of her tools. And I made that into some sort of decor in a way and just made sure that everything looked really nice. So in the end, the only things that we really had on the table were her Cricut machine, of course, and then also this little caddy that holds like extra tools and things Things like that and there's lots more room that she can actually fill this up later on if she would like and then also I added in a little lamp and a desk caddy and also a diffuser later on Now that I have the craft table mostly situated, I believe, we are going to move into the bins. So I will kind of show you what we have going on in there. But my friend has basically just gone through the rest of her house and her closets and different areas that she had all of like her work stuff in. She's just gone and put all those things into the different bins. We also made some labels earlier. I didn't film that part, but you guys will see me putting them on. It's always super satisfying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting the bins into the cube organizer and getting kind of this situation all figured out. One step forward and another back. I will never try to fool ya. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. 
So these labels are really cool. The labels themselves are made with, of course, my Cricut machine. And then the label tags are something that I had ordered off Amazon. I actually use these another time during this makeover series, but I was looking for some label tags and all of them were so expensive, like $10 for six of them or even $20 for 10 of them or something. It was just outrageously priced and I was not gonna pay that much for some label tags. And so I ended up finding these ones on Amazon. Of course, I will link them down below, but they are just grocery store tags and they give you about 50 of them for just $10, which is perfect because I knew I was going to need quite a few of these. And I knew that if I spray painted these and then added my own custom label, they would end up looking so nice and they absolutely did they were not a disappointment at all and I just cannot believe like how affordable they were so if you are needing some nice label tags and you are on a budget like I'm sure we all are definitely check this out this is such a great option So of course I had to add some plants in. I asked my friend if she liked plants and she said she loved plants, but she was a little bit apprehensive about trying a live plant. And because we are moving, I'm actually giving some of my plants away that I just am not sure if they're going to make the trip. And one of the plants is a snake plant, which I knew would be perfect for her because they are really low maintenance. So I put the snake plant in here. And then this is a sign that we had made earlier. It turned out so good. I love it. And this is just another one of those things that you can make with your Cricut machine. It's incredible because you can find your own custom sayings and then design it exactly how you want in whatever kind of font you want and whatever style and colors you want. And it's just cool because you can make it exactly whatever you want for your own space. So this is one of the ones that I had showed you guys that we made earlier and I just love how it turned out and how it looked in the space. All right, we are finally done. This room turned out so incredible. I love it so much. It feels so much more open and spacious, and yet we have way more furniture in here, way more stuff in here, way more organization, way more workspace. It's just so incredible. Everything is peaceful in here. Mm -hmm. I would love this for my office, but we are about to bring my friend in and give her the reveal. She has not seen it since they had a desk in and just the workspace, everything else is new to her. So we are about to bring her in and show her her new office. I felt the world stop turning. I felt the waves come crashing down. I found you. I know you found my memory. Was it a past or future life? I know you so down every winding road. I'll go anywhere you go tonight. So this is how everything turned out. I love this space so, so much. After we were done, I was like, I want this office for myself and I don't even have a Cricut business. I just want it. It looked so incredible. It was so calm and peaceful in here. One of my favorite things about this entire space is just the colors in it. I feel like it's one, very bright. You would not expect this room to be in a basement, but it also it's very warm because although you do have a lot of white in here, you do also have that mint color, 
which is really fun and bright. And then you have the warmth of the wood elements like the desk and the shelf and then a few of the other decor items. So kind of mixing those things together just made it look so cozy and such a welcoming place to work. And you will notice I did leave a few of the walls kind of more blank than I normally might have. And that's because she had been talking about maybe adding a TV in here for her kids to watch. So I actually left the wall next to her craft table empty and that way if she did want to add a TV or something, she could totally do that. And then I also thought adding a little shelf onto the wall between the cube organizer and her desk would look great as well. But sometimes when you're doing these makeovers, it is kind of nice to leave a little bit of extra breathing room and then you can kind of decide later on once you get all settled in if you really need any other decor, if you need any other functionality added to the space. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys definitely need to stay tuned for episode three and four, which will be coming up next week. Also, do not forget to check out my link for Cricut down below if you have been interested in looking into a Cricut machine, and especially if you have been thinking about making money with your own Cricut machine. It is absolutely doable. My friend is definitely proof of that, but you guys will love it if you decide to go that route. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you have not already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Hey, Kinsley, are you going to help him? All right, Steph, open your eyes. Oh my God. He looks. Mom, look! Yes, I know That's the crazy. curtains. <coughs> looks way different. I know, <laughs> it looks so good. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so cute. It's curious. super it's comfy. Nice. Look, Mom. Oh, I know, oh my God. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it looks so good. I absolutely love it.